that is Vesaka Pucha, the full moon of the month of Vesaka. It was on this full moon that the Buddha was born, 35 years later. It was on this full moon that he gained awakening. And 45 years after that, it was on this same full moon that he passed away into total nirvana. In the day of his awakening, they say, it was exactly 2,600 years ago. So it's a special event today. Every year we get together to commemorate this event. And it's what they call a Misa Bucha, which means paying homage with material things, and then it's Bhati Bucha, which is paying homage through the practice. So that's what we're doing right now. Because that was the whole purpose of the Buddha's gain and awakening, was that he could find an end to suffering and also teach that same path to others as well. So they, when they followed it, they could f find that end of suffering too. So it's something you have to do. It's not something you just simply believe, and then someone's going to pay you back for your nice belief by taking you up to a nice place. It's a pattern of practice. Virtue, concentration, discernment. These are the things we have to work on. Virtue and our thoughts about what we're going to do and what we're going to say, and then following through with the thoughts that are good. And then concentration basically focuses on getting the mind to settle down and be still. And then discernment tries to figure out what's causing suffering inside so we can put an end to that suffering. A lot of this comes down to intention, intention to act in skillful ways through the thoughts, your words, and deeds. And so you want to pay very careful attention to your intention, like your intention right now, to stay with the breath. Make sure you stick with that and figure out what strategies you need in order to stay with that original intention and not give in to other intentions, and so that you can carry through that original intention with skill, because the skill is an important part here. We're talking about having good intentions, but sometimes, as you know, good intentions pave the road to hell, because the good intentions are not wise, they're not discerning, they've got delusion in them someplace. In other words, you mean well, but you don't, haven't really thought the, th the issue through carefully or you haven't been observant. And so you have to be observant about what you're doing. Think about the implications of what you're doing. See what you're going to do to improve it. This is how good intentions turn into skillful intentions, and then they become part of the road to nirvana. So as you go through the day, notice what your intentions are. Which ones are you acting on? Which ones are you putting aside? Try to make sure that you act on the good ones. Because we don't, have much, don't know how much time we have. And the Buddha had 80 years. And that's considered a full life. But he, and it was full in his sense in that he created something good that still has lasted now for 2,600 years. How about us? What kind of goodness are we going to create? We've got the opportunity to do something really good here with our human, human life. Make sure you make the most of it. Don't just throw it away. It's something that's really important, this opportunity to do something good, to create something good, both inside and outside. But the outside has to come from the inside, so this is where we start the training. Once you get the inside straightened out, and then the outside is bound to be good as well.